My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some LibreWork API. Today we will see how we can open and close applications in LibreWork. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about LibreWork and API. With that said, let's get started. So we open up LibreWork Automation Studio, click Flows and then click New, click Flow. We can see here, we can call it something open and close applications like this. And now we create an empty flow with nothing but a start node. So first we set a variable and we want to, um, today's process is all about like open an application. We will choose a notepad, then we want to type something in and then we will close it again. And this text here, we will set a variable for the text to use in our notepad. So first we will drag out an arrow here. And then we will have a set variable. Let me find it here. And the variable name, you can choose whatever you want. I'll say str text. And then the value that will be maybe like, hi viewers, what do you think of leap work RPA? Like this. So now we created nothing but a variable. Nothing will happen when we run the flow. We just set this variable. So let's uh, start a notepad application, drag another arrow and then click start application here. And we can just capture our notepad window. So click capture and then uh, choose the blue border around it. We can see a notepad X and then the working folder like this. So far so good. So we can even try to run it. Nothing, don't save here. Nothing will happen except that we open notepad. So now we learn to open an application like this. And that's fine. So click uh, switch to edit mode here. We can watch a video about our whole flow. However, we just want to um, edit it. And then we will, uh, now we will type something in to the text field. So drag another arrow out and then um, set UI element value here. And then we can select UI element to set value in. So click this white box here. And then we, we can see here that the blue border is now around uh, the notepad text field. So uh, click here. And then we can uh, either we could uh, type in hello or something. However, we just created our variable for that. So from, from the set variable, uh, choose this blue box here and drag it over to text value. Now we can see this to get grayed out. So what happens here is that we get the text from our variable and then we can type this one in, in this UI element. This is uh, have an advantage. So instead of hard coding all our things, then we can just say that uh, this text will change and we maybe we use it several times in our flow. Then we can just change it one place instead of all places in our flow. We can, let me close down notepad. We can try to run it again. Hey viewers, what do you think of, let's minimize this. What do you think of LibreWork RPA? So that's fine. Let's close this one down. Now we want to maybe close uh, the uh, notepad application again after writing it in. And so we can choose a close application right after this. However, we will choose a wait so we can actually see that it uh, types in and then we will just wait like maybe five seconds. So here delay and then five seconds. And then we can uh, close uh, the UI window. So let me drag out another one here. So close UI window. And so here we can, uh, now it will just close uh, this one. However, if we got several applications up, it could be good practice to um, specify what window we want to uh, close. So click expand, we can see here there's a window and over in the start application, click expand again. And here we can connect those two, these two windows and it will now close the notepad window. So that's it, let's try that. Now we will open up notepad, we will type in, we will wait five seconds and then we will close it down. Or it will ask us if we wanna save our work, we'll just click don't save. So say that we wanna change this, let me edit it again. We wanna change it to just close it down, force kill it. Then we can up here in the close method, we can choose force kill process. So let's run it again. Hi viewers, what do you think of LeapWork RPA? And in five seconds, it will close down without any warning. However, uh, now our work uh, didn't get saved. So uh, be aware of that. If you work on a project or something, it will just force shut down. The last thing is that we have a failed message here. That's the default. However, 
we want to say that if we successfully run this flow, we will have a pass instead of a fail. So click edit, and then we can um, have a pass here, and now we passed it. So we can try to run it. Hi viewers, what do you think of Leapwork RPA? Close it down in a few seconds, like this, and then we will have a flow is passed. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos. And have a good day. Bye-bye.